The following game and commentary is rated M for Mature. Please be aware of the following warnings. Alright, now next thing we gotta do... We gotta go in this room. Make sure you have the flamethrower ready though. Tangled, one of the deadliest enemies in this area. Uh, I can't remember the. Th I can't remember the name of the Resident Evil One boss, but it's Plant One, Plant Forty Two. That's it. These are miniaturized versions of of that boss. These guys will actually spit poison at you. So having the flamethrower is very important for this. There's also a big mutated plant stock that... Honestly, I thought we would actually end up fighting it or something in the past. Missed opportunity. Actually, no, I'm fine. Oh, wow, I got that. did not go as well as I thought it would. That got him. Alright, let's actually combine these two together. I'm gonna use this small one right here for myself. One thing I should mention that I don't think... Yeah, I haven't... Yeah, I have not even mentioned this. But... Yeah, I'll, I'll grab both. But one of the biggest changes that happened in recent Resident Evil games, and I'm talking about like the remakes, Zero. Yeah, it started with Resident Evil Zero, and then they've been doing it with the remakes. With Remake 1, I don't know about Remake 2, maybe? Actually, from what I saw for gameplay, I don't know how the, how the inventory for that is going to work. But... For all those games, anytime you pick up a herb, pick up, pick up an herb, uh, it will give you three options instead of two, which is just like, would you like to pick this up? Yes, no, or do, would you like to actually use it now? You know, I thought you'd be using the submachine gun more, but I think I still need the flamethrower. Now what we need is this. You know, what? I'm dropping. I'm leaving the flamethrower. There's a reason why I'm taking the Magnum, but I'm not taking the ammo for it. Okay. Grab that. Oh no, 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 I do need the flamethrower. Shoot, I actually forgot. This is the issue with having weapons that take two spots from your inventory. Yeah, I, I don't need the. I need the. I don't need those. get in this room. Sorry if I'm going like a little wishy-washy here trying to remember what I have to do, but 
there is a car key in this room that I need. But we use the... Oh. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Magnum parts. For the combat magnum. The strongest weapon in the game. Second only to a rocket launcher. Also, I just wanted to show off why I don't like firing this weapon straight on. Because the weapon is strong enough that it actually pretty much kills all zombies. Oh, here's the car key. Perfect. Now that we got that, we can actually... We can go through the last two areas, actually, that we haven't gone through yet. Hmm. I'm actually looking at the... At the recording time. I'm actually, I like to come be finished before an hour passes. Alright, this is why I want the flamethrower. No, close enough. No, 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 get off! I wanted to get rid of that moth. Yeah, because those are all moth eggs. And moth larva. Alright. Here we need to enter the guest username. Okay. And that is all that this room is used for. Just that one solitary thing. use the flamethrower I don't need anymore. I need the left key, I need this. Oh no, I'm not using the sh I'm not using the magnum yet. Uh this 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 Now, I'm actually going to do another save. Just in things, just in things, just in case things go full bar on me. Man, I could not, I could not talk right there. This will leave me with two slot, with two uh, inventory slots. Back through the blue hallway. Oh dear, I'm. Well, when all else fails, shotgun. Oh, 
shoot. Oh no 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 no! Oh my god! First death. I actually forgot about the two plant monsters here. Alright, give me a bit. This is why you save. Because in case you forget about something important. <laughs> But you also saw right there, remember how he talked about in the last session about how Resident Evil 2 introduces wa different walking states for when you're healthy or not? That last one that you just that showed off right there was the danger status. That's why I think... Yeah, no, no. I, I keep thinking like they still kept adding those. But newer games stopped doing that and just had the... Yeah, the newer titles just had the health bar being shown. Except for 7. 7, you actually still have to like sort of pause, but that's still you being in action. this ink ribbon. I can't believe I actually forgot about it. So back to the White's hallway. Oh. Okay, that was actually my fault there. How strong is this thing? And just to show off the uh, magnum. Automatic headshot. That's how powerful the magnum is. I also really didn't want to use one of those, but with how I've been playing, I've got plenty of health items on me for the for uh, later. Okay, drop that off. That we got everything we need, now we can finish this off. Before we go through there, let's open this section. Now, that whole fingerprint thing is all for this section.
we can't do the verification because we need two people. So that means that when we're doing Claire, we have to we Claire is the one who can go through there. Ooh, look at that! I see something shiny. No, that's point deductions. Magnum shells. <laughs> Magnum bullets. All right, now we hit this. Turn on the lights here. And we're here for one thing, the MoDisc. You... You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G-Virus, didn't you? You'll never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the Agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie! No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be! I know her! Ada wouldn't do something like that! If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? Self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. All yep. So, and it just gave us the G-Virus. Let me see. I now technically have three slots. Actually, no. Let's just go. Uh... Leon. I've been waiting for you, Leon. Wh what are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G-Virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. No! 
I promised you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. I... I really wanted to escape with you, Leon. Escape from everything. Thing about this part, she would not never shot us. Well, that whole final part where uh, she pretty much held us at gunpoint was just she just cares too. She cared too much for Leon at that point. section right here gets just straight up filled with the uh, zombies. is actually nasty. Five minutes until detonation.
say hello to Broken Reaper, I say. Oh, shoot, I forgot how to get out. Oh, nice. I'm not here. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, wow, he actually hit me during his um, rapid voice next animation. This is his final clip. A final form for this scenario. This form. Very nasty. In fact, I'm gonna heal. Think about it now. Shouldn't be here. Where is he? There he is. Actually, help. Uh, no, I'm healing. I'm healing. One of the points, one of the reasons I lost so badly was that I was actually in caution one. And he actually. Straight up killed me last time. Perfect. But yeah, that also shows up showed off the power of the combat magnum. I think that was like what six rounds from it. And yeah, I know I've done some some damage with the, with the shotgun. Yeah, that was six rounds. Actually, give me a second. Yeah, uh, I was just checking if there was anything there. No, this is just a straight hallway. And that was Resident Evil 2. Scenario A. Uh, no, I'm actually gonna. Can I skip this? No, I can't skip it. Um. I don't want to talk about what my thoughts are on this level 2, not now anyway. And the reason for that is that I'm technically not done with it. If you remember, I think I've mentioned that uh, Resident Evil 2 is a 2 disc game. That means that both, for each disc, it features one character, Leon, which is in disc 1, and Claire, who is in disc 2. Also, I may as well mention this now. Actually, no, before that. We've only cleared Scenario A with Leon. What we need to do now is actually clear Scenario B with Claire, which is on the second disc. What the game's going to do for me right now is that, as soon as this finishes, 
I'm going to look at my rankings, all of that. And then I'm going to, and then it's going to ask me to save, which I think is going to say player B00. If I'm correct. This means that I have to put in the second disc and start playing Claire's uh, Claire story. And I will do that. Also, I say I have, I'm halfway done with the game. But if I do want to do like a full 1% playthrough, I would say I'm only 25% done. And the reason I'm saying this is that for the longest time, I'll always I've always played Leon A, Claire B, Leon A, Claire B. I don't know what possessed me the idea to actually put disc 2 in first. But when I did, Claire A, Leon B. That is technically the canon storyline. What I'm doing right now is I'm playing through the game how I played it in the beginning. This would technically be my longest playthrough yet, barring Digimon. And now for our rankings. We got a B rank. It would have actually been an A rank if, one, I was not reading everything I've been reading up uh, all this time. And I didn't actually decide to go look at the... Uh, Go and see if the if the uh, locked room was uh, open. To get an A rank, you have to be at least less than three hours, and you have not supposed to have used a single first aid spray. No, I will do it here. Alright, now, how am I going to do this? Might as well actually just show off uh, before, because I don't, I don't know if it's going to give me the prompt here. Because again, I'm playing this on the PS3. Yeah. So if I want to record Claire, I would have to do... I think I would have to do this. I would have to reset. Huh. Okay. Well, that's how that's going to be. I was actually wondering what I was supposed to do here. And this too. Alright then. That's good to know. Alright. So next time, Claire B. After that, I don't know what I might do. I might actually re I might re-record it with uh, Claire A. Leon B, or I might do a uh, live stream of it. But no, this is now disc two. Yep. All right. So until then, everyone, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I should also mention that during the second scenario, I'm actually going to be skipping, uh, I'm going to be picking them up, but I will actually not read any of the previous files we've read. So chances are I'm actually going to do a lot better. So until then, everyone, later.